Ringspan assembly instructions for Shrink Disk RLK 608 and 606. Before the assembly, clean the hollow shaft bore and the shaft. Apply a light coat of grease to the hollow shaft at the point on which the shrink disc is positioned and insert the shaft into the hollow shaft. Make sure that the required tolerances are guaranteed. Assembly Loose all locking screws with some turns that the stepped conical ring and the conical bush are not clamped into each other. Here you see the names of all important parts of the shrink disc. When mounting the shrink disc, a shaft must always be inserted into the hollow shaft. Tighten the clamping screws by hand first. Secure the shaft either with the internal clamp of the gearbox, if possible, or with the additional clamping unit to prevent the turn of the shaft by the tightening process. For the distance controlled installation is no torque range necessary. Tighten all the screws in a clockwise sequence, turning each screw by a quarter turn in each step. Continue to tighten the clamping screws in that way until the element is clamped. The shrink disc is clamped when the stepped conical ring and the stepped conical bushing are flush with the screw side face. Disassembly Loosen the clamping screws uniformly in multiple steps by quarter turns for each step to prevent misalignment of the clamping surfaces and breaking the screws. Do not remove clamping screws completely from threaded bores under any circumstances. Remove as many clamping screws as push-off threads in the step tapered bushing. Turn them into the push-off threads uniformly. Tighten the push-off screws clockwise until the ring and the bush are pushed off from each other. Remove the shrink disc from the hollow shaft. The complete installation instructions for all shaft hub connections are available at www.ringspan.com. Visit us on our website or contact our sales team for more information about shaft hub connections. Shaft hub connections from Ringspan.